We all know of Romain Grosjean's very famous fiery accident at Bahrain in 2020. Well, one of the things that we've never realized is where the helmet is stored. Now, today we are at Bell Racing Helmets at Bahrain, and this is an exclusive look at the actual helmet that Roman wore during that fiery crash. It is just incredible to see this. Again, this is exclusive. It is not open to the public, but it is just incredible. Crazy to see. You've got the burn on the rubber of the visor tear-offs here on the front, and my side that I'm looking at right now is fairly clean. There's a few little dents and scrapes, but your side, is just where the fire hit. You can just see where the plastic over the top here is melted, even the number. You've got where the visor tails are sort of melted away from the rest the of it. the air goes as well. Yeah, and then this side, all of the decal has just sort of melted off towards the base color of what the helmet would have been. Now, of course, this was a 120 mile an hour crash. He spent 27 seconds in those flames and 67 Gs yeah. of impact, but I think it was the flames yeah. more than anything else. For I reference mean. as well with the impact, 67 G, 6 G is what they do just hitting the brake. So 67 is absolutely yeah. We think about the fire, but we don't think about the actual impact itself, yeah. but everything combined. And again, it was just a miracle that he made it out. But just seeing this up close, obviously I'm not gonna touch it, but just it really kind of, seeing it on TV is one thing, but actually seeing the helmet just kind of puts it into a different perspective. It's an absolute masterpiece though, because it's, it's like when you have a, LMP1 car that wins and it's just in its state when it's won the race. Exactly. You've got all these little details of all the burn marks, the little bubbles and the tearing away of the decal and I think it's just perfect that it has just been preserved like this. And uh, yeah, there is only one of it of its kind because you can't replicate this. And you definitely would not want to replicate it in real <laughs> no, life as no. well. And I think also just a testament to the, the safety of the helmet as well. I mean, yeah. structurally, totally fine. I mean, again, the, the visor's a bit there's melted, but... No, apart from there's a little scrape here, but I think that's just like a bit of decal where it's like, like paint chips sort of, it, that, that's what it looks like. Yeah. But there's nothing at all here that suggests any blows, any burning on the inside. I mean, I think I remember him saying, thinking like, oh, it feels a bit hot in here. But yeah. it's, there's nothing here where any sort of fire has got in, apart from maybe there's a little bit of burning on like the rubber. Incredible, and even the, on the, um, the interior. Inside. Yeah, the interior is just burning. Like that's very close to your neck. So it's just, it just puts it into a different perspective. It really kind of makes it real and a big testament to Bell. I mean, again, the helmet absolutely survived it. And thank thankfully, so did Romain Grosjean, but it's just, again, incredible to see it for ourselves and wow. Now, something else that I've never really thought about literally until I've seen the helmet is, as you can see, because it was the start of the race, it was literally lap one, I think, at the uh, end of turn three, all of the tear-off layers are still here. So they're, they're ready for the race, but of course they never, they never got to be used. But yeah, it's just little, little details like that that you only pick up when you see something like this in real life for yourself. They're there on your side. On my side, though, over yeah. here on the burn side, you've got the clip as you can see here, where all of the tails would have been melted together. But here, unless they have melted so they've compacted or melted away, which is, that's what I think has happened, it looks like maybe one or two of them is really still on there because so it's, it's gone, not thick at all. It's gone right down to the visor, basically. And again, all of that in just 27 seconds in the car. Absolutely crazy. You know, I've, I'm the man that walked out of fire. <laughs>